Well guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Welcome to episode 23 of season 2 of our Leicester City career mode here on FIFA 20. In today's episode we start with the FA Cup replay against Ipswich and then we have West Ham at home in the Premier League. The original tie against Ipswich was of course in the last episode and it ended 2-2. We scored a last minute equaliser to keep ourselves in the FA Cup and the equalising goal came from our new signing Rafael Leal on his debut. What a debut to grab the goal to keep us in the FA Cup. Absolutely incredible. So let's kick off today's episode by knocking Ipswich out of the FA Cup. Adrian Silva, short into Mendy, out to this left-hand side, and it's a very good pass as well. Over the top to Christian Tello. What a pass that is. Brilliant play here from Christian Tello. Just over the crossbar. What a goal that would have been. Cool. I don't know what the goalkeeper was doing, because if it was on target, I don't think he would have even saved it. Nolan into Sears. It's a decent delivery. Norwood with the header. 11 minutes gone. They go straight up the other end and have a chance away at goal themselves. And it was a very good attempt from the striker. But thankfully, it's gone wide. And out for a goal kick. And the score does remain 0-0. Adrian Silva. Very good pass out to De Silva on this left-hand side. And Christian Tello just didn't make a run if he did. He would have got on the end of that pass, but unfortunately, it's a good interception from the Ipswich man. And now here Kenlock goes at down this left-hand side. Oh, good tackle from Adrian Silva. That's a decent pass forward to Iosi Perez. Out to that right-hand side in Justin, and it's a very good first touch. Can we find Adrian Silva? Yes, we can. Silva! Straight at the goalkeeper for an easy save, but wow. I don't know what that was from the goalkeeper. Dodgy start from the Ipswich number one. But yeah, 18 minutes gone. A very lively start to this game. Indeedy, short into Adrian Silva. Now Iosi Perez into Justin. Can we find Marlon? First time into Iosi Perez! Over the crossbar. Wow. Chances just keep coming and coming. If it keeps going the way it's going, surely... We have to open the scoring. we just got to take one of these chances before Ipswich take one of theirs. Christian Tello on this left-hand side forward to Marlon. And it's a very good pass. What a turn here from Marlon. Oh, my God. It's dreadful. Holy smokes. I'm speechless. I didn't even put that much power on it. That should be 1-0, man. De Silva on the ball. Short into Ndidi. Going to try and find Justin on this right-hand side. And it's a good interception. And it falls straight to Norwood. He's up against a few Leicester players. And he does find a teammate. Now Keane to his left-hand side is Downs. Surrounded by Leicester players. He finds a teammate as well. Out to Kenlock. A very good cross. Oh, brilliant first touch from Norwood. And what a finish. Five minutes left to play of the first half and Ipswich have opened at the scoring. Brilliant cross. Look at this first touch. Wow. And it's a very good finish past the goalkeeper into the bottom corner. Ipswich won. Less than nil. And Didi on the ball for to Marlon. Hopefully we can reply very, very quickly, just like we did against Fulham. And here the striker goes. What a run. A sliding tackle comes in. We avoid it. What a save. A header off the line by Kenlock. Oh, my God. How was that not 1-1? Here De Silva goes down this left-hand side. A cross in. And it's going to be way over here. 
And I think it might be 1-0 to Fulham. Fulham, Ipswich at the break. In this FA Cup replay. Justin short into Iosi Perez. Now Ndidi into Christian Tello. Can we grab the equalising goal? Seconds into the second half. Not with passing like that. But Marlon does very well to win possession back immediately. Mendy forward to Ndidi. To his left hand side is the young striker on his left foot. And it's straight down the goalkeeper's throat for a simple save. But a very bright start to the second half from us. And thankfully that forward pass comes to nothing. De Silva on this left-hand side. Forward to Christian Tello. Into the young striker. Back into Christian Tello. Vincent Young intercepts and finds a teammate with a very good pass. Now Keane out to this left-hand side. Oh, lovely one-two. And it's a great first touch. Keane, oh, you cheeky bugger. But thankfully it's gone wide. I thought that was going to be 2 near. What an attempt from Keane. But like I said, thankfully it's gone wide and out for a goal kick. Wow. What a goal that would have been. Adrian Silva into Iosi Perez. Oh, lovely back heel into Justin. Look at the Leicester players flowing into the box. Adrian Silva into Marlon. What a finish into the top corner. 57 minutes gone. And the young striker has grabbed the equalising goal. Very good play as well. Lovely back heel from Iosi Perez into Justin. And then the rest was just beautiful. Lovely assist. I really thought the Ipswich man was going to intercept, but he didn't even try, did he? And it's a very good finish past the goalkeeper. Marlon with his first FA Cup goal of the season. Downs on the ball, short into Norwood. Now Downs once again up against Perez, but he does find Keane in quite a bit of space here. Left-hand side now is Roberts, and it's a very good tackle from Justin. And the Ipswich man has stayed down. I don't think he's going to be forced off the pitch. But here we go. Adrian Silva. Who's going to make me a decent forward run? No one. But we do find Perez. Now in Didi. Left hand side is Christian Tello. But Vincent Young with a very good interception. Now Sears short into... Who was that? I'm not even sure who it was. But it was a very good one too between the two players. Sears back on the ball. Can we make a tackle? Oh, Sears, you've just ruined my life. Nolan, Vincent Young back into the fullback. A cross goes in. It's a decent delivery, but Calera does very well. And it falls here to Christian Tello. Now Marlon out to this right-hand side in Perez. And it's a very good first touch as well. What a pass into Christian Tello. Poor finish. Wow. What a pass from Perez into Tello, though. Absolutely pinpoint. But it's a dreadful finish. Right, we are going to make a double sub. I think we're going to bring Fisher on for Christian Tello. And pry it on for Adrian Silva. Roberts on this left-hand side for Ipswich. Up against two players. Does well to find a teammate, Kenlock forward at two downs left hand side once again is Roberts and the cross gets intercepted from the captain for this game Johnny Evans Calero out to De Silva on this left hand side forward to Christian Tello is it no it's Fisher sorry right over the top to Marlon he started making a run then he stopped oh god downs on the board charging run out to Sears on this right hand side backwards into the full back this is very good play from Ipswich. Justin, please intercept. Oh, it's brilliant play from the young fullback. And what a pass forward to Pryor. Right. Can we break away and grab the lead for the first time in this game? Marlon out to Fisher on this left-hand side. What a pass. Fisher for 2-1. Oh, what a save. How has he saved it? Wow. I'm speechless that is an unbelievable save right 12 minutes left to play Perez whips it in it's going to go back out to Perez and I'm going to put it straight back in and the keeper's going to gather it 10 minutes left to play and the score remains 1-1 Pry on the ball out to Justin on this right hand side short into Perez oh look at the space ahead of me Perez on his left foot and it's a very good save once again 
the space just opened up no one closed me down 84 minutes gone we get another corner this time it's a very good delivery does get cleared away Calero oh what an interception and they do get the ball away but we are going to keep this attack alive hopefully no oh what a first touch from Keane but thankfully Pryor intercepts now indeed he fought to Marlon great first touch but the defender was just too strong and it's a free kick to Ipswich really ref okay well seconds left to play and it looks as though it's going to extra time Johnny Evans on the ball oh that is a dreadful pass but Perez keeps it in short into Pryor his left hand side is indeedy out to De Silva on this left hand side can we find a Leicester player in the box what a delivery oh what a clearance that is a very important clearance but here we go with one possession back Marlon to his left hand side is Pryor on his left foot it falls here to Marlon we're going to try to curl her to the top corner and it's gone out for a goal kick yep it's going to extra time there is the full time whistle. It's ended all square at 1-1. And I really don't know how. We definitely deserved to get through. And it's going to extra time. I just really hope it doesn't go to penalties. Right, come on. If we can create chances just like we did in the 90 minutes, I'm pretty confident we can bury at least one of them and get through to the next round of the FA Cup. Sears on the ball. This is very good play from Ipswich. Not a lot has happened in extra time because the time does go very, very quick. Loads of space here for Downs. No one's closing him down, but Pryor does, and he wins possession back. Here we go. Can we break away just before half-time in extra time and grab the lead? That is a very good pass into Perez. Back post is Marlon. First time finish. And it just about goes in. Oh, my God. Thank bloody God that went in. That would have been a tragic miss. Hits the post and then hits the back of the net. Very good pass from Perez. Pinpoint. And Marlon just absolutely smashes it. Oh my God. Ipswich 1, Leicester 2. Right on the ball. Forward to Ndidi. Out to De Silva on this left-hand side. Across into the back post in layout. It's a very good cross. It's up in the air. And they do get the ball away. And Pryor has done well. Layout to his right-hand side is Justin. Short into Pryor. It's Fisher, sorry. Now Layout once again into Mendy. On his left foot. It's looping. And the keeper does very well to tip it over. I was about to say punch it over. But tip it over, punch it over, whatever you want to say. Out for a corner. Right, Pryor whips it in. It's a good delivery. And they do get the ball away. And they're not going to keep it away. They play it straight to the young striker. Lay out on the ball. Brilliant scoop turn. A cross in. It's good play, but it's good defending in the end from Ipswich. I am just desperate to grab our third goal and bury this game. Because one attack and it's 2-2. And it's going to penalties. And I really don't want it to go to penalties. Indeed, he on the ball, loses out to Downs, and it's a very good tackle as well. Downs is still going out to this left-hand side in Jackson, and it's a good interception. And I think they are going to keep this attack alive. Jackson on the ball, short into Roberts. What a save. Get the ball away. What a save from Ward to keep us in the lead with seconds left to play. But they are going to keep this attack alive. Please, ref, blow that full-time whistle. It's a brilliant run from the Ipswich man. Short into Keane. He's still going. He plays the ball into the box. And Calero clears it away. And there is the beautiful full-time whistle. Leicester 1. Leicester 2, sorry. Ipswich 1. We hung in there. They put us under some huge pressure in the dying seconds of this match but thankfully we held on and we are heading into the next round of the FA Cup
Ndidi, short into Adrian Silva, right hand side is Ricardo Pereira across into the back post and James Madison, what a save from the goalkeeper, absolutely incredible goalkeeping to keep the score at 0-0, oh that should have been 1-0 and a fantastic start to the game. Declan Rice on the ball, very good pass into Lanzini, what a block from Siyunchu, oh keeper what are you doing? Doesn't go in anyway, but Kasper Michael completely misses it. He was offside, Yarmolenko I think it was, he headed it back into Allaire and Allaire hits the post. It was an open goal and the striker misses, incredible. But thankfully we do win possession back here because it was offside, James Madison into Layout out to this right hand side in Ricardo Pereira. What a pass across into Damari Gray. I think it was going wide, but the keeper does get a touch onto it, and it is a corner. 22 minutes gone. This is our first corner. It's going to the young striker. He can't quite connect with it, but it is another corner. Can we open the scoring? James Madison whips it in. And Calero with a poor header towards goal and it's gone miles over and out for a goal kick. But 23 minutes gone and it's been a bright start to the game from both sides. Luke Shaw on this left hand side for West Ham. Oh what a tackle from Adrian Silva. Can we find Damari Gray? Yes we can. It's a perfect pass across into Leal with the header. And it's a simple save for the goalkeeper. That was a very good chance of being 1-0. But it's a poor header from the striker and 30 minutes gone. The score remains 0-0. Calero on the ball. Very good pass into Adrian Silva. Now Damari Gray. Overlap from Ricardo Pereira. Can we find a blue shirt in the box? Ricardo Pereira is still going. Short into Adrian Silva. Great first touch. Oh, it crashes off the post. Back into Adrian Silva. But we can't get a second shot away at goal. That was an absolute bullet. And it smashes off the post and the score remains nil-nil. Unbelievable. Declan Rice on the ball. Short into four nows. Now Vendel. Decent pass out to Lanzini. Oh, great first touch. Back into Luke Shaw. Now Declan Rice. This is decent play from West Ham. Are they going to make this pressure pay with a goal? Vendel onto his left foot. It's a decent strike. But comfortably past the post. I think that's the closest they've come to scoring, isn't it? Apart from the offside chance. 40 minutes gone and West Ham haven't been that great. They don't look like a team that are having a very, very good season. So hopefully that remains for the rest of the game and we can score at least one goal and pick up a massive three points. Four nows on the ball for West Ham. It's a very good run. He's up against Ndidi and he does find Allaire. Surrounded by blue shirts. Oh, lovely one-two between the two West Ham players. Allaire is still going across in. And Siyunchu gets it away. That was a dreadful clearance. But thankfully, somehow we come away with the ball. And I think that might wrap up the first half prior. Into Damari Gray. Through here to Leal. Back into Gray maybe. It's worked out very nicely. Oh, it's a poor first touch from Damari Gray. And we do lose possession. And I think that might wrap up. The first half, Rice into Yarmolenko. There is the halftime whistle. We have been the much, much better team. So hopefully we can take that into the second half, carry it on and open the scoring and take control of this game. Adrian Silva, short into Ricardo Pereira on this right-hand side through to Leal. And it's a very good pass. Can we find Damari Gray? First time finish from Gray. Did it go out for a goal kick? Yes. Okay, it went out first before actually going out for a throw-in or a potential throw-in. Oh my god, that was dreadful, but very good play and a good start to the second half. If we keep creating the chances, surely we have to bury one of them. And they've played it straight to Damari Gray, and that's a poor pass. I should have waited for a better run, to be honest. Raphael on this right-hand side, short into Yarmolenko, who is, of course, on a yellow card. Declan Rice and Ricardo Pereira should be intercepting, but I've played it straight to a West Ham man. Now Allaire on the ball. It's a decent run from the striker into Lanzini. And thankfully, Ricardo Pereira wins possession once again, but this time he keeps it. 55 minutes gone. Hopefully, we can open the scoring with our next attack. 
Ndidi on the ball into Siyunchu. Now Ricardo Pereira into Adrian Silva. This is decent play. Leao on the ball. Back into Silva. Out to that right hand side, but Rugani. Rugani intercepts. That was good play, but yeah, when I just got to their half, it all crumbled, didn't it? But we do win possession back immediately once again. Layout out to Damari Gray, and that is a fantastic pass. Lovely ball roll. Damari Gray over the crossbar. Brilliant play. Done the hard part. <laughs> and then just skied it. An hour played. And the score remains nil-nil. Ricardo Pereira up, short into Mendy. Out to Ben Chilwell on this left-hand side. Into James Madison. It's a decent first touch as well. Even better second touch. And he's still going. Is it a corner? Yes, it is. It's a very good tackle from Ogbonna. 64 minutes gone. Can we finally take the lead? It's another corner. James Madison is going to whip it in again. And I'm going to whip it in full power on the cross and it's a brilliant delivery as well and it's going to be another corner can we make this pressure pay with the first goal in this game once again it's a good delivery does get cleared away only as far as Mendy to his right hand side it's Pryat low and hard and Rugani gets in the way that was a vital block that was heading towards goal and causing the goalkeeper problems once again a good delivery Keeper punches only as far as Pryat. Lovely flick up here from Fisher. And it's a comfortable save for the goalkeeper. Wow. We have been head and shoulders above West Ham. They really haven't been in this game whatsoever. Vendel on the ball for West Ham. Into Luke Shaw. He puts in a very good cross. Declan Rice on the volley. 15 minutes left to play. Totally against the run of play West Ham have opened the scoring thanks to an absolute beauty from Rice they've not been in this game whatsoever but they lead brilliant cross and I don't know what the hell Siyunchu's doing I'm spamming circle for a clearance I don't know what the hell he's doing look what is he doing Oh my god, that is so frustrating. 15 minutes left to play and somehow we trail at home to West Ham after being the much better team. Raphael on this right-hand side for West Ham. This is a good spell of possession for the away team. Siyunchu, what a diving header that was. We have just made our final sub. Marlon has come on for Madison. And Marlon, of course, is going up top off the line from Ricardo Pereira to keep us in this game. They are going to keep this attack alive. Lanzini on the ball. Twisting and turning. Across into the back post. It's going to fall to Alaire. And once again, it's a very good volley. This time into the bottom corner. And West Ham have wrapped up the three points. Oh, matches like this are so frustrating. And it's so lucky the way it fell to him, but he took it well. I give him that. It's a very good finish. And that is his 15th goal of the season. Wow. Leicester nil, West Ham 2. Game over. Ben Chilwell short into Leao. Can we grab a goal back very late on in this game? What a run from the young striker. Leao into the bottom corner. Seconds left to play. Game on. Leicester 1, West Ham 2. Can we grab a point? I mean, we deserve all three. But if we can grab a point this late on after being 2-0 down, cool, I'll be so, so happy. Good tackle from Ndidi. Here we go. This is going to be the last action of the game. Mendy to his right-hand side is Fisher. Back into Mendy. Seconds left to play. Are we going to grab a point? Mendy is still going. Oh, no. It's the wrong decision. And that is going to wrap up the game. There is the full-time whistle. Oh, my God. We were so close to grabbing a point. But like I said... We definitely deserved all three. West Ham really weren't in this game. Brilliant goal from Rice. And it was very lucky the way it fell to Allaire for the second. But once again, it's a very good finish. 
and somehow West Ham have taken all three points. Very frustrating match. Full-time result here at the King Power Stadium. Leicester City 1, West Ham United 2. So after 26 games, we are in ninth place and remain on 39 points. I think I might have to focus more on the FA Cup and the Europa League now and forget about the Premier League and finishing in a really, really good spot in the table because I just don't think we are going to top last season. We finished 7th last season and I don't think we are going to finish 7th or higher to be honest. I really don't see it happening so I think I might have to focus on the Europa League and the FA Cup because even if we finish 8th or 9th and maybe win the FA Cup or Europa League or both maybe that's still a very good season finishing in the top half and winning one trophy. That's still a very good season for a club like Leicester City. At the top, Liverpool on 71 points, Spurs 67 points, Man U in third on 64 points and Man City remain a point behind their Manchester rivals. At the bottom, Norwich now on 6 points, Leeds have moved into double figures on 10 points now, Cardiff remain on 14 points, 3 points away from safety at the moment but there are still 12 games left to play in the league. In the next episode we start with the round of 32 first leg at home to Lazio and then a few days later we are away at Manchester United in the Premier League. So that is going to wrap up today's episode guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.